On October 28th, Sony recording artists AOK and Quinn92 performed for Nova High School to promote their new single, Kings of Summer. They spent time with the Cat's Eye News before their first performance to share how they got to where they are today. Our manager contacted us about the Novi performance, um, and we wanted to create like some sort of buzz around the song, around the Michigan Michigan State game. And this was just kind of the, like we just thought it'd be a great opportunity to get in front of some new people. He went to Michigan, I went to Michigan State, so it's a cool way to package like the song and promote it and tie it in with the football game. We did a lot of work while we were in college, but then like our junior year of college is when things really picked up. And then by the time we graduated, we spent one year at home, and then it was like things had picked up enough for us to move out to California and like sustain ourselves. We could tell from like very early on that people were gravitating towards the sound. I think it's amazing to be an underground artist just because it gives you a little bit more creative liberty, I think. Um, but I think there's a lot of like, uh, it's like a bad thing to be, a lot of people view it as like a bad thing to be labeled as pop. Um, I don't really necessarily agree with that. I think you can still be pop and like have your creative liberty and like, you know, still be cool. And I think we play a really good line between like mainstream and like edgy at the same time. So our sound is like new and fresh, but I think it's, it's very relatable, and I think anybody like hears it is somewhat familiar, but it's also like got a new and fresh sound. Um, I, I would still say we're kind of underground, but not. I think we're breaking out more towards like the mainstream pop lane. But Alex does some different stuff on his production, so it kind of puts us in like our own little bubble and, and lets us kind of like live in our own lane of genres. Um, and we're hoping to do that as much as possible because it can be kind of easy to get swept up under the rug as like a pop act and be compared to everybody else. So we're trying to like distance ourselves from that. Mm -hmm. So I think playing that line has like given us a really great avenue to be successful because so many people can gravitate towards our music that aren't even fans of the genre. This will not be the last you see of these two artists. I'm Renee Boudreaux from the Cat's Eye News.